Today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust Avid BB7 mechanical disc brakes. Uh, maybe you need to do this if your lever is pulling in too far or your brakes are squeaking or maybe you've just never done it and you want to set it up properly. But no matter your reason, I'm going to show you how to get it done. So the tools you're going to need are a T25 torque wrench and some Allen keys and the manual says safety glasses. I'd say that's optional, up to you. Um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna have us do is come up to the top where the brake lever is and just check on our barrel adjuster. So I'm gonna have you go all the way in and then take maybe three clicks out. One, two, three. You just wanna make sure you reset it first so that you can fine tune later. Our next step is to align the caliper over the brake rotor. So to start out, we're gonna loosen these two bolts right here with a five millimeter Allen key. We'll speed this up for you. And that's good. They don't need to be all the way off, just loose. All right, now we're going to grab the T25. We are gonna tighten the inboard, so that's the one closest to the wheel on this side, in until it presses against the brake rotor. So there's a diagram, I'll try and include it when I edit this. So I, lo I was looking from the top and now it's touching, so that's what we want. We want two thirds of the space to be on the, so the other side and one third on this side is our goal. So now we come back over to the outboard side which is the side uh, on the outside of the wheel. And we're gonna tighten this side until it fully locks out on the brake caliber. Like this. So now the brakes are completely locked in place. Now we've got our caliber exactly where we want it. So we're gonna tighten these two bolts back down to lock it in place. Now what we need to do, now that our caliber is locked in place, is we need to loosen both sides until we have the appropriate clearance. And you can look through this hole on top, it's very hard to show you with the camera, but that's where you need to look and you need to adjust both of these sides out until they're just barely not touching. So a good way to test this is just adjust a little bit on either side and then spin the wheel, watch it, watch it to see if it seems like it's slowing down and listen if you hear any rubbing, you'll hear like er, 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 if it's rubbing too much. So that's what we're doing now, just fine tuning it. All right, our last step is to come back up to the lever and see how we did. So you can see mine. It's pretty tight, it's looking good, and it's not rubbing in the back. The wheel's still spinning well. So with barrel adjuster adjustments, if you screw it out, it's gonna make it tighter, meaning your lever is gonna come out more. If you screw it in, it's gonna make it looser, meaning your lever will go in further closer to the bar. So you can see mine's pretty far out right now. That's why we left this little bit of space right here. I had you click it out a couple times. I'm gonna go in a couple notches and we're gonna see that's better that's about where I want it but it's still not coming close to the bar we still have a bunch of clearance you see that and that's good that's what we want congratulations once you set the lever how you want you're all done that's gonna conclude this video subscribe for more tips and tricks if you're new and I'll see you in the next one thank you for watching